this was a request. Heat wave. Is it too loud? Given the frigid weather we were having, we needed a heat wave, and now it feels like a heat wave because I think it hit 50 today. And earlier this week, we were at minus 23 plus wind chill. And I don't really know the words to this song. Like, I know the heat wave. Heat wave. Heat wave. Heat wave. Fun, huh? So thank you. Keep those requests coming. Of course, that was my one and only request. But... Hi everyone, it's Lulu and welcome to my Sunday night chat. The biggest thing I have to talk about is my Botox. I think I mentioned, I don't know if, you're, if you, you might not be a regular follower, you might not be in my group, but I bought Groupons for both Botox and for uh, Radius filler. I uh, didn't do enough, I thought filler was filler was filler. I mean, I know there's different brands and some claim to, you know, last a little longer, do a little this, do a little that, but you know, it's filler. I did not realize my biggest thing was my tear troughs. I just, I want them filled so badly. Um, I didn't realize that is a different kind of filler and it's also different training. So when I got to the office, uh, doctor's office, and was talking to the nurse who does you know, does the fillers, etc. cetera. Uh, so I started telling her what my interest, she said that unfortunately the filler I bought was filler like for lips or cheeks or the nose to mouth lines, etc. or, you know, plump up wrinkles, that it was not, you just don't use that for tear troughs. Plus it's a different skill. I would need another nurse and it's a way different cost. So I was so, I was so taken, I was just like, <laughs> and then I'm sitting there like, what should I do? Okay, you know, and I could have gotten a refund for everything. I could have, you know, I'm thinking, what, what should I do? Should I, should I use the money I spent on the Botox as a credit toward, I didn't have enough filler to do my cheeks and I wouldn't do my, I would do my cheeks, not for the sake of my cheeks, but because she said it's a much more effective and long lasting way to get rid of these nose to mouth lines. Um, could I use the filler here? Yes, but it would not last long, long, especially because I might, I have apparently a very expressive face. And I sat there thinking, okay, so do I use the money I paid for Botox and put it toward more filler and then have enough for both cheeks? Cause I only had enough for one cheek on the Groupon I bought. Or do I add money to Botox? Because we had talked a lot of different things she could have done with the Botox. There's no wrong, there's no right. I went to the Botox route, I bought more Botox, and what I had, and it, these are my least concerns. Like, I'm looking back now thinking, why didn't I just use the money for more filler? Because these bother me a lot more than my 11. My 11s aren't that bad. But we did, um, she did my 11s. I'm starting to have horizontal I'm gonna call them fine lines I again I don't think you can see them um, unless you're like in a 10 times mirror and you're and I'm doing this but better to start preventing them because the sooner you use Botox the the longer it lasts each time and it prevents those creases from forming and then she used a little to possibly give me a little lift which might help a little bit I have yet to see to the, to the untrained eye, which we are mostly untrained eyes, I've yet to see Botox that actually created a lift. Now, scientifically, with some kind of measurement or laser or something, maybe they can measure a lift, but even on YouTube, when people you know have said, okay, let me take you through the process and what I did, and, so, and they'll do their before shot and after shot, those, those are, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not professional, they're, starts with an A. Amateur. <laughs> Amateur. You know, I don't care how you try to stay in the same position, try to set the camera the same, try to have the right lighting, try to have the weather the same. I don't even know. It's just, you. it's not the same. And I don't even know what the heck I'm talking Oh, the lift. So we, I did that. So I bought a little extra Botox to take care of all of this forehead stuff going on. 
and I want to get the tear troughs done, that would be, it has to be a hyaluronic acid rather than whatever filler, I guess Juvederm, Radius, Sil Rustolint, whatever they're all called. They are calcium based, whereas when filling the tear troughs, it has to be hyaluronic acid based. Um, and again, a different nurse. So, <laughs> um, I don't know, looking back, I probably should have done this to lift this because I really don't have problems up here. But anyway, it's all good. It's all good. The tear troughs are going to cost $850. And probably if I do the filler in both cheeks versus the lines, the lines, she said, probably would not last even six months on me, whereas cheek filler probably would last up to a year on me and keep this lifted. So... That's my, that was my week, so we'll see what I look like in a couple of weeks. Again, I'm not sure that it will even show up on video. I think it'll be more of an in-person or in-my-head kind of a thing. Uh, Super Bowl is on. Tom Brady was intercepted on his first pass. I can't, can, can you imagine that pressure? Like, I can't even imagine when, when Gladys Knight was singing the, uh, the national anthem, like, I'm sure their hearts were beating so loud in their heads they couldn't even hear it. You know, you can see they're all doing this, you know, like, oh, and then to be Tom Brady, and it's the Super Bowl, and it's your first pass, and you get intercepted. Some of you going, Lulu, I don't know what you're talking about. What is an interception? I get it. It's a mistake. It's a big, big, big mistake. And he is a big, big, big star in the football arena, and he has won five of these Super Bowls. Or is this going to be his fifth? Like, it's just, it's like a huge public mistake. And, you know, I was just, I was just like, <gasps> did I just see what I saw? And it's so funny because right before that, I was kind of yucking up the Rams going, defense, defense. Like, they were just, and then all of a sudden, you know, that defense came through. Anyway, um, I have to stop saying anyway. I'm getting better about not looking at the lens, the, uh, you know, the little camera thing. Anyway, is really a problem. You know, a lot of YouTubers, big, small, whatever, have what, what's, how? How do they say it? merch? They have merch, which means merchandise. There's a company apparently that specifically um, caters to YouTubers, and will you kind of design your logo or something? And they have a website, and so they just make it easy. And I don't know what you make two dollars a shirt, or I have no idea. But I thought if I ever had one, then I'd have to say anyways because that's like my word. We, um, in the Facebook group, my Facebook group, it was interesting, or was it maybe on my Facebook page it came up, but alcohol, I, you might be, alcohol and skincare, I mean, everybody and their mother and their grandma, stay away from alcohol, stay, if you see it on the ingredient list, stay away, stay away. And that could be true for some skin types and skin, and for some of us, alcohol doesn't matter it doesn't hurt. It doesn't, we're not, we don't get dry. We don't get crackly. There are articles. Uh, I believe they are medical articles. Maybe if I find one, I'll link it below if I have time. But alcohol is in so much skincare because, now I'm talking the bad alcohol. So this is isopropyl or denatured alcohol. Same thing. It's the kind you have in your medicine cabinet. Um, because there are, uh, from the scientific skincare cosmetic chemist, it helps all the other ingredients penetrate deeper. It, it kind of gets it into the skin. Uh, you have to make your own decisions about this, but it's just like, you know, bad news travels fast. Unfortunately, that's the truth about alcohol. And I think for the most part, we don't want it in our skincare. I, I am in agreement about that. My point, my very long point, is that there are many, many alcohols that are really good for your skin. They are moisturizing. They, they, they create a smooth surface. They, they hold moisture in. They themselves are moisturizing. One of them, for instance, is cetyl, cetyl I don't know how to pronounce it, C-E-T-Y-L, alcohol. And I'm thinking how many women and men look at an ingredient deck, see the word alcohol, regardless, it says alcohol, I'm not buying this. And uh, 
for my little small audience that I have, you just need to know that the really, the bad alcohol that has this bad reputation is the alcohol that's in your medicine cabinet. It's isopropyl alcohol and sometimes called denatured alcohol. Um, that's the only one that is not good for your skin. All the, pretty much all the others are kind of actually good for your skin. And I know there's a lot of channels popping up now that are really becoming, um, staking a claim, um, like in the skincare arena for just the, the regular, like they're not doctors, they're like regular people, but they have training, estheticians or whatever, or they've worked at a dermatology practice, uh, plastic surgeon, whatever. And I kind of wish more and more of them would, A, always talk about SPF, like always first and foremost. And secondly, um, when they talk about alcohol, to mention there's a lot of good alcohols, and that's that would be good. Other than that, we were very, like many of you across the country, frigid, 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 below zero. I think our in the Chicago area, the air, the air temp, the lowest the air temp went was minus 23 or maybe minus 25. And with the wind chill, and this was more of an overnight, not daytime, I think it got down to 52 below zero Fahrenheit. And now today, I think it almost reached 50 degrees above Fahrenheit. Like it is a sloppy, watery mess, the snow. And we had snow during this very frigid. So we had a lot of snow. Well, not a lot, like, I don't know, six or eight inches. But we've not gotten that much. Chicago, like somehow, has not been getting a lot of snow. I love snow. I love cold. But I got to tell you, this low, mm -mm, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. I was so worried about the dogs going out. I was so worried about the squirrels I feed. And... You know, and cars, engines, houses, it's, ooh, man, you know, so we had that this week, and we uh, obviously survived it. Today, I had, yesterday and today, I had a very busy week at work, very busy, uh, so I had all these things piled up to do on the weekend, because I just didn't even want to do anything at night, except sit on Facebook, watch YouTube, oh, and Netflix, I finished, it took every Every ounce of muscle I had, I finished watching the uh, series, and with an E, Green Gables. I her, she's this precocious. I don't know if you know the story, but anyway, it is a. How old is she in this movie? Maybe ten or eleven, twelve, and she has this. She's an orphan and raised, you know, just a horrible. Anyway, and then finally, nice family takes her and blah blah blah. But she talks, and she talks, and she talks, and she talks in these very precocious, long, you know, pedantic-type words. And she's got an imagination. I mean, we're talking an imagination and everything. She creates a story around it about a prince and a queen, and she renames trees to, like, whatever. I, I, I really was at the point where I cannot, I cannot listen to this blabbering, but I did. It got better. Uh, it got much better. It was still annoying, but it got better, and the storyline got better, so that helped. Um, but I finished that, and then I've started another binge-worthy, you know, kind of turn of the century. Uh, Larkspur and Candlewright, there are two towns, Larkspur and Candlewright, Candlewood. Anyway, so I'm enjoying that one a lot. I very much am enjoying it. And liking that one a lot. So that's what I've started. I'm all about period dramas on Netflix and Amazon Prime and BritBox and Acorn TV. I think those are all the ones I have or subscribe to. I am all about period dramas. And that includes even even kind of sort of like the Miss Marple and Hercule Poirot. Just, I, I'm just really enjoying them. And some go way back. You know, if you're watching Victoria on PBS or you watch Downton Abbey or Upstairs, downstairs, north and south, those kinds of things. I just, you know, some people are into thrillers, some are into big time mysteries or spy stories or what's the one I watched? Uh, Handmaid's Tale. The first season was, I could not stop. I binged that first season. Then at the end of the first or beginning of the second, I was like, nah. And I think the third season is now coming up, nah. No, 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 but the first one was, first season was fascinating. Not so much after that. Then it just kind of got, 
I mean, it was out of this world, literally extreme, crazy. I'm sure there are some people that will argue and say, no, it can happen. Um, but it just got too wacky, so I stopped watching it. Uh, let me see, what's all, what else is on my list? Uh, I was thinking, and I might do it, because I have quite a few rants built up in me that are mostly related to YouTube or YouTubers or YouTube ur ur urban legends. But some are just about life, you know, maybe it's about driving or I, I don't know, thoughtless things people say or... So I'm almost thinking I'm going to have a monthly rant video or do I, I probably have enough for a weekly rant video. But we won't, we won't talk about that. My first video, I will tell you right now, if I do a rant video, my first video will be about donating makeup to women's shelters. Don't even start me. Don't even start me on that subject. I hope if you have, I don't know when you're watching this, but if you're watching or just watched or still are watching um, the Super Bowl at this very moment, New England Patriots are leading by three, I think. I have it on in the background. I can't quite see. They're showing, what are they showing? Graduation, high school graduation pictures? Like, what? No, that would probably be grammar school. No, that might even be, what's it called? The Pony League? What's the first football league? Ugh. I don't know. Pee-wee Pee -wee League or is that baseball? Anyway, let's see. New England three. Rams zero. Second quarter, we've got 10 minutes left. Amazing. I am very, very surprised it's that low scoring. Uh... Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you later this week. I have to put up a haul. I did fill my makeup collection, but I'm really torn about that one. And, uh, but I, I do have to film. I have a lot of cute house stuff. I've ordered, um, I had an Avon order. I haven't ordered from Avon in forever. I have an Avon. I have Ulta. I have Sephora. I have uh, Scentsy. I have uh, 31. Uh, oh my gosh, I love uh, I just have so many cute things to share, so I do need to put up a haul video. Thank you so much. You all take care. Stay warm wherever you are, or stay cool maybe. Depends where you are, right? Bye-bye.